Oh, Oof, gosh. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Whoa. That looks bright. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, the arena is wide open. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. Hi, Bonjour, bonjour. Adios, see you at Good to see you. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, all around the world. Hi, Bonjour. It's starting. Hi, guys. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Hello, everybody. Hello. What's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everyone. It's good to see you. Good day, everyone. How are you? Are you all ready? What's up, guys? Yay, we did it. Welcome. Are you all ready? Let us begin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, director of Twitch Studios, Marcus DJ Wheat Graham. Wow. What is up? TwitchCon 2017! <laughs> you know, you guys, is always an emotional time. Uh coming out here and seeing all these amazing faces you know we live in a virtual environment and uh it's just it warms my heart every single time i get this opportunity thank you for coming to twitchcon so i i want to do a little housekeeping before we get started uh who is here attending their first twitchcon ever all right welcome we, we guarantee you're going to have a great weekend. How about this is your second one? <laughs> Two right here. They're excited about that. And uh, for those that are going for their three-peat, where are you at? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you all so much for uh, being here. Um, it is incredible to see so many people from so many different places all together in the same room. And I've been anticipating this moment and this weekend uh, since the moment that the last TwitchCon ended. Uh, and I can promise you that my enthusiasm is definitely warranted. I happen to have a little inside information as far as is concerned. And this TwitchCon is going to be the best one that we've ever had. This year... We are welcoming our largest and most global group that we've ever had. You came from 57 different countries, from Austria to the United Kingdom. And we would have loved to seen a country that starts with Z. So we're counting on you next year, Zimbabwe. <laughs> and uh, for the first time, Twitch is welcoming our new affiliate. So are there any affiliates in the room? That was a really loud cheer. Affiliates, welcome. Uh, it's amazing to have you here. And when we announced this year's program, uh, we said we'd have something for everyone. And that's because you are bringing these stories from all over the globe. Like DJ Chris, fellow DJ, master of the F5 key, who is the first person to buy a ticket just seconds after they were made available. Chris here. Where are you at, Chris? Chris! And how about Proclaim is Live, who traveled the furthest to get here all the way from South Africa? Yeah. And those are just a few, right? Whether you took four planes to get here, an Uber, a bus, you teleported, or you just walked across the street, we want to celebrate everyone, which brings me to the reason we're all here. Our stage, your story. Like Twitch itself, TwitchCon is a stage that will be shaped by what you are inspired to do with it. And as always, you're going to have a lot to work with. Over the next couple days, you'll have a chance to meet and learn from uh, each other. And panels and sessions devoted to the business side of streaming 
So how to best represent tabletop RPGs on stream. Or maybe you get to hang out with Snoop Dogg. I don't know. We encourage you to check out everything that interests you. And maybe even try out something new. If action is a little bit more your speed, come check out our live shows. We have a talent show returning with the amazing talents of the Twitch community. We have the cosplay contest returning with the most amazing works of art that you uh, will ever see. And uh, we've got Partner Roast, which I don't know if Jericho's here, but get ready to be burned, Jericho. We've also got some wrestling. You name it, we've got it. Uh, or explore a variety of showcases, uh, from live competitions on the esports stage to hand hands-on demos in our streamer workshop. We've even got, returning, a Bob Ross-inspired paint-along. There are a million things to look forward to, but it looks like many of you already know that. Why am I excited to go to TwitchCon 2017? She's a passion of mine. I love the network, and I'm just excited overall. It is the best gaming event of the year. An event unlike any other. I am primarily going to TwitchCon. We're going to TwitchCon. What? What? I want to meet a lot of the amazing friends I've met on this platform. The amazingness of the Twitch community. It's a celebration of everything awesome about it. All these wonderful people. It inspires me. And it's one of the best times of your life. See you guys there. Peace. Does anyone agree with any of the sentiments shared in that video? I do as well. Uh, if you're watching from home, don't worry. It's TwitchCon. Guess what? We've got everything streaming. In fact, 11 channels of TwitchCon content streaming live <laughs> all weekend long. So uh, I'm getting a little anxious to get things started. And I'm sure you are all ready to hear about some of the things that we've uh, been working on behind the scenes. So who's ready to kick off TwitchCon 2017? Yeah! Wow. <laughs> Deafening. All right. Great, that is my cue to shut up and uh, to move things along. So I am going to turn the stage over to one of the biggest Twitch nerds I know. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our co-founder and CEO, Emmett Shear. Hey everybody, I am incredibly excited to be here today. It's always a huge amount of fun meeting Twitch fans in person. And to everyone watching along at home, I hope to see you here next year. And of course, thank you, Marcus, for that wonderful intro and for getting the party started. When we first came up with the idea for TwitchCon, the dream was to bring the Twitch experience to life in the real world. And as I look around this room, it's incredible to see all corners of the community come out in force, from speedrunners to cosplayers, from partners to new streamers. Everyone is well represented. That's really what TwitchCon is all about, bringing together everyone who's made Twitch such a vibrant place. And over the course of the weekend, you'll see all the ways we plan to keep it vibrant. When Twitch launched six years ago, it was a much different place and a much smaller one. But from day one, we counted on you to guide the way forward. And because of your creativity and commitment, what started as a place for people to stream their favorite games has evolved into something we never could have expected. A place where streamers can not only share all their passions, but where their audiences from around the world can interact and connect back. Where whatever you want to nerd out about, you won't be doing it alone. It's the best place to be a fan, no matter what you're a fan of. <laughs> As we said at the first ever TwitchCon, we built Twitch, and you showed us how to use it. So many crucial parts of the Twitch experience, like subscriptions or even face cams, were ideas first brought to life by one of you. And the best part is, you're still inspiring us to make Twitch better. Of course, there are things that have always been priorities for us, like cutting down our video delay. And since January, we've slashed it by an average of 60%. But actually, for the most part, Almost all of our latest updates were based on ideas and hacks that you guys came up with using the platform. Take subscription tiers as a small example. 
we saw that some viewers were so determined to support their favorite streamers that they actually made extra Twitch accounts just so they could subscribe multiple times. So we decided to add subscription tiers. And now you can subscribe at two times or five times the standard level of support. And that idea is all thanks to you and the Twitch community. You guys also asked for great stuff. Like you asked us for name changes. Actually, I should say name changes was the single most requested feature ever in the entire history of Twitch. <laughs> uh, so we added name changes. Many of you <laughs> were also using third party tools just to switch off the lights and go into dark mode uh, browsing the site. We thought it was a little bit crazy you had to do that. So we made a native dark mode. In fact, uh, could we switch to dark mode right now? It's much better. Uh, and so of course, you inspire us in other ways as well. This year alone, the Twitch community has pushed boundaries and accomplished things that we've never done before. They're the records we shattered together, like breaking one million concurrent viewers on a single channel during the CSGO E-League Major Grand Finals. <laughs> we saw Korea become our fastest growing region where creators have streamed over four times more than they did last year, and where viewers have watched nearly six times more. League superstar Faker's first stream alone received nearly a quarter of a million concurrent viewers, setting the personal channel record on Twitch. We didn't just break records together. We also came together to make the world a better place. Just look at the speedrunning community from Games Done Quick. <laughs> which raised more than $4 million for charity. Or H3H3 podcast featuring Justin Roiland, the co-creator of Rick and Morty. In just a few days, they raised more than $235,000 for Hurricane Harvey relief. One popular French partner, Zerator, even received a shout out from the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, after raising 450,000 euro for Hurricane Irma relief. I think these sh stories show just how powerful the Twitch community can be. All told, together, you've raised more than $25 million for charity on Twitch this year. We want to thank everyone who contributed. You all changed lives. And we're proud of what you already accomplished. We think you can make an even bigger difference. All weekend long, anyone who cheers in any one of our tw 11 TwitchCon channels will directly support uh, the American Red Cross, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and a ton of other great uh, charities. So chat, let's see those cheers. <laughs> now. When you all aren't busy setting records and saving the world, you're turning life's happy little accidents into amazing experiences that could only happen on Twitch. Let's take a look at a, a clip that showcases what I mean. A clip that, for many of you, needs no introduction. Makes me really appreciate streaming normal games there, where I can pause and smile First. and enjoy it. Are you okay? Uh. Uh, that video has been viewed 2.4 million times. And I guess, like, probably 20,000 more times now. More than any other clip since last TwitchCon. It went viral on mainstream media, and now it has the distinction of being our first ever clip of the year.
Without you, this might have just been one of life's great but forgotten moments. But you turned it into something that was felt around the world. The community also rallied around some new faces on Twitch, like Sheriff Eli, a badass lawman from Grand Theft Auto V, and also a really nice guy that you can meet right here at TwitchCon. He was discovered by fellow streamer PMS Proxy, and she even helped raise money from the community for his first real streaming rig. We just broke uh, $14,000 to help support you becoming a streamer here Holy on Twitch. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you everybody. I'm gonna everybody cry. who, who uh, <laughs> helping out. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it. <sighs> Can't tell you enough. It uh, really warms your heart. $14,000 is pretty incredible. But Sheriff Eli wasn't the only character who found a big following this year. There was also this guy. Let's talk about me. Let's talk about the six foot eight frame, the 37 inch vertical leap, the black steel that drips down my back, AKA the bulletproof mullet, the Google prototype scopes with built in LCD, LED, 1080p, 3D, Sony technology, the Ethiopian poisonous caterpillar, AKA slick daddy. Let's talk about the cabinets right behind me that go 40 feet deep into the wall that houses the other 95% of my trophies, the awards, the certificates, all claiming first place, right? Let me give you a little inside glimpse into the hot shot video gaming lifestyle of the two-time international video gaming superstar because that's what this channel's about that's what this domain's about that's what the society is about you're looking at the face of twitch and god damn is twitch lucky and truly we are lucky doc which is why it really breaks my heart to tell you that I actually beat you to the Slick Daddy look seven years ago. <laughs> and... <laughs> I have the clip to prove it. In all seriousness, Dr. Disrespect is amazing. <laughs> but he's not the only person doing unique things on Twitch. Take a look at Guan Zhang, whose arms are the size of my legs. <laughs> or Marmalade Noma, a German grandmother who streams herself reading children's stories. <laughs> or Scribbla, whose animated avatar has a talking monitor for a head. We even watched a stream about robots discussing life's big mysteries. <laughs> Earlier, I mentioned the CSGO E-League Major Grand Finals, when over a million of us watched Astralis take home the win. But that wasn't the only time we filled virtual arenas. Your turnout for events like these was extraordinary, with massive online audiences tuning in for epic showdowns all around the world. Coming in now. Okay, here's the opportunity. Turn it around. Boom! Oh, oh, shot again! And SKT are the champions! And the game will be claimed for time. Dart Attack Major Lynn is here in Kiev. Esports have always been some of our most watched broadcasts. But the Twitch community is also willing to express the unexpected. One of the first times we experienced this was two years ago, when we aired the first ever Twitch marathon, Bob Ross and the Joy of Painting. <laughs> what we thought would be just a fun experiment became a shining example of what you can all do together. When we invited you to Twitchify more marathons, you proved that your creativity could not be contained. 
In some cases, you took decades old content and morphed it into something that felt new again. With inside jokes that have become part of the Twitch language. All of this has shown that when given an opportunity, the Twitch community will show off its creativity, its imagination in amazing ways. You consistently use the stage we've built to make it your own with stories big and small. We want you to always have that opportunity, to not only have an audience for your creativity, but one that will keep growing. We want to help strengthen your communities and to make sure as many of you as possible can make a living doing what you love. In a few minutes, my fellow Twitchlings John, Kathy, and Ethan. We'll take the stage to talk more about what we're doing. But before I go, at previous TwitchCons, I was the lucky one who got to announce all of our new products. This year, my team is going to steal my thunder. But I'm still the boss, so I get to reveal one of my favorite things we've been working on. <laughs> we saw that some streamers had to use five different tools just to keep track of everything that was happening during their stream. We heard from basically all of you that you wanted more insights into your streaming than your dashboards could currently provide you. And soon, you'll be able to do just that with Stream Summary. <laughs> stream Summary puts all the details about everything that happened during your stream in one place. From new viewers or followers, from your new viewers or followers to your most active chat participants. Stream Summary also includes new information you've never had access to before, like the most clipped moments during your broadcast. Stream Summary will be launching at the end of November, and we really hope you like it. And now I want to introduce a man who takes his Fungineer alias way too literally. I give you John Shipman. Thank you, Emmett. I can't wait to figure out who's actually watching my streams. But let's be honest, it's Grandma. <laughs> Unlike me, y'all <laughs> put a lot of time and hard work into every stream and video you create. And we want to make sure there's always an audience ready to be wowed by your creativity. One of the best ways we've put your content in front of new audiences is, is with clips. 30 little seconds that have a really big impact. Speaking of impact, let's take a look at this clip. So. Wow. I mean, that's embarrassing and I'm wearing this, right? So. But, but in all serious, not only is that a funny moment, perfect for sharing, it's also been viewed 850,000 times. <laughs> Since that clip was created three months ago, Lizon's follower count has grown 75%. And her, and her average concurrent, <laughs> concurrent viewership has increased 600% and stayed there. But her story isn't the only one. Since last TwitchCon, clips have been viewed more than one billion times. That's billion. <laughs> but here's the best part. Almost half of them were seen by viewers who've never been to your channels before. That means clips has helped create almost 500 million chances for you to grow your audience. Clips is a powerful tool. But I'm also excited about another new way to grow your audience. We all love when a game developer brings out a new trailer on Twitch. 
it's great to experience something for the first time, but it's even better when we can experience it together. We want any creator, big or small, to be able to share that kind of experience with their community. So much so that it inspired us to create a brand new product called Premieres. With Premieres, we're bringing the interactivity and spontaneity of Twitch to your videos. Premieres enables you to build hype for a first time viewing event and creates a real time community building that Twitch is known for. So just like people all around the world gather around their TVs for the debut of their favorite TV show, they can now do the same for your new content. You as the creator can watch along with your fans to provide insight, commentary, or just sit back and enjoy the show with the crowd. <laughs> with premieres, we're evolving uploads into a shared community building experience. Those watching your premiere with you will interact, build suspense, and give your debut the welcome it deserves. Premieres will be here by the end of the year, but we've already been testing with some partners, and they've been excited about what they've experienced so far. One streamer, Fuya, uh, Fuya's here, Fuya, put together a greatest hits reel of funny, crazy, and weird moments. When she premiered it, she said it was like having a party with her community. So you hear that, Grandma, get ready for my first premiere. <laughs> another, <laughs> another uniquely Twitch way to show support is through raids. Raids have always been one of my favorite things to watch on Twitch. Just check out these awesome reactions. Holy cr oh my god! Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god! We're getting raided by Barbarous King! Oh my god, I'm like shaking! You gotta be kidding me. Go to my stream, I think I'm getting raided! Holy... What the f- Shroud has hosted you with 30,317 viewers? What? Raids are more than just fun. They're about connecting communities that might otherwise never meet. And they're a perfect example of what TwitchCon is all about. Your stories and your experiences making Twitch and its community the place that it is today. We're listening to you, learning from how you want to connect, and incorporating that into the future of the Twitch experience. Which is why we're happy to announce that this November, we are officially supporting Raids. We want to make the exciting experience you've created a native part of Twitch. Now starting raids and inviting your community along for the ride will be easier than ever. <laughs> Next, to talk to you about how we're helping develop deeper bonds with you and your community, please welcome the hero we need and deserve, Kathy Astromoff. Thanks, John. Sorry you had to get up so early. <laughs> Chat's at the core of community on Twitch, and it's been an integral part of the Twitch experience since day one. But bots and abuse can sometimes spoil the party. So we're working hard to make chat safer and more welcoming for everyone with tools like Automod, a super powerful chat bot that scans over 320 <laughs> 320 million messages a month. We're keeping your chat engaging and secure. It also takes some of the load off some of your hardworking moderators. Can we give it up for the mods? <laughs> While it's important to make chat as safe as possible, it's equally important to make it as flexible as possible. Many creators want to have more than one chat room and conversations that continue even when you aren't streaming. And the numbers tell us why. We've seen that creators who build multi-room 24-7 chat 
grow their communities three times faster than those who don't. These advantages should be able to, available to all of you and your communities without the hassle of leaving Twitch, which is why we're introducing Rooms. Rooms lets you create always on chat groups right on Twitch. So community members can easily bond around topics they care about. And when a community bonds, it grows. You can create a room for your moderators to coordinate their efforts. Or, <laughs> or a room for new viewers to get acquainted. Or how about a room dedicated to sharing vintage exhibit memes? It's all up to you. <laughs> you can all go to your rooms this December. <laughs> For many viewers, being called out in chat or by your favorite streamer feels awesome. That flash of recognition from viewers makes them feel like part of the community. So they stick around and they chat. We've seen this happen time and time again. And now we're making it easier for everyone in a channel to acknowledge the times when viewers contribute to a community. Enter rituals. Oh, the potential. OK, OK, I'm about to explain it here. <laughs> rituals makes it easier for you to celebrate special moments that bring your community together. Here's an example. Say a viewer is checking out a new stream for the first time. After a minute, they'll have the choice to signal to the community that they're new to the channel. Twitch will break the ice for them in chat and help them feel more welcome. Rituals will help you build a more vibrant community when it launches in just a few weeks. Yeah, just a few weeks. Like, week after week after week after. Now, we come to a revolutionary new way to build a thriving community around your channel. Now, we all remember Twitch Plays Pokemon, where an anonymous great idea allowed the community to invent a way to play Pokemon, sorry, Pokemon Red, get it right, using chat. Chat controls enabled a unique gameplay experience, but created a lot of distracting noise for people who just wanted to talk. <laughs> now, don't get us wrong, we love the ingenuity, but we also thought we could do a better job of helping Twitch communities come together. The solution is Twitch extensions. Twitch extensions are live apps for live streams. They represent the future of connectivity, interactivity, and community building on Twitch. They're created not by us, but by our amazing community of developers. You install them directly over the video player or as panels on your channel page. They're flexible, dynamic, and easy to use. And they allow you to engage your communities in new ways. Here's an example. Let's take a look at what happened on Sevitus' stream when he installed Muxy's overlay extension on his channel. L, O, S, I. Make him happen. Make him happen. I want to see it because I want that screen cap. L. Oh my God, it's happening. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. Someone screen cap this right now. Screen cap this right now. Yes. That was amazing. That was amazing. Oh my God, it's the first time you guys have done anything <laughs> useful. Every one of those red dots you saw was a real person clicking directly on the Twitch video player. On that day, 79% of Sevitus' viewers played along with his challenge. 
and created that moment. <laughs> and this was just the beginning. As we speak, our super smart developer community is building the tools, services, and games you've always wanted as extensions. From name brand companies to Twitch fans with programmer day jobs, developers are lining up to help you succeed. In the six weeks since we've launched extensions, more than 1,100 developers have registered to build one. We've already seen a Destiny 2 Armory overlay from Grab Games, polls from Streamlabs, even complete games in extensions, such as Stream Legends from Proletariat, and even the game you all at home were playing right before the keynote. It's called Galactic Disagreements by Hitbox Team. Looking ahead, by the end of the year, you'll be sharing digital items with your community in extensions. And a portion of all digital items sold in extensions you install will support your channel. This is just the start of a new and fun way for viewers to support your favorite creators. These new tools, from rooms to rituals to extensions, serve you and your communities in different ways. But they all share some common DNA. They started with you. And we can't wait to see how you bring them to life. <laughs> Next, we're going to hear from the guy who spends day and night thinking about how to help you make a living on Twitch. Twitch's prime king, Ethan Evans. Thanks, Kathy. It's incredible to see how this community has grown with the number of streamers and creators on Twitch. Just last year at TwitchCon, we announced Twitch Prime. Since that launch, Twitch Prime has brought in 50% more subs for streamers. That works out to one new sub every four seconds. <laughs> Subs have improved in other ways as well. As Emmett mentioned, we recently introduced two additional tiers of subs so that your fans can support you at additional levels and give you the great support you deserve. Viewers also embraced cheering for celebrating your more spontaneous moments. And so we made them better by adding cheer modes and allowing people to cheer along with you for charity. Most exciting to me personally, with the launch of the Affiliates program, we're thrilled to report that more streamers than ever are using these tools to help make a living doing what they love. Just six months after launch, 110,000 streamers have become Twitch affiliates. And I'm happy to share that many of them are on the way to becoming partners. However your community supports you, through subs, bits or cheer modes, your reactions tend to be, well, let's just look. Subscriber. Wait, you can sub now? Oh my! Mom, I'm rich! You have to love that. Now, we recognize reaching your goals isn't easy. It takes time, it takes effort, and it takes commitment. 
but we're dedicated to creating more ways for more of you to be rewarded for doing what you love. With all these advances, I'm happy to share that in the past year, Twitch has generated more than twice as much money for partners than we did in the previous year. More than twice as much. And that's not including anything made by those 110,000 affiliates. If you include the new affiliates, that number is even higher. <laughs> On average, even though we have more partners than ever, each partner received 71% more money from Twitch than they did last year. We also want to be transparent about the path to becoming an affiliate or a partner. And with that in mind, today we're taking another step to help every streamer reach their goals with achievements. <laughs> achievements are a new way to see how you're progressing towards becoming an affiliate or a partner with clear requirements right in the broadcaster dashboard. We designed achievements by looking at successful streamers and setting you up to succeed with goals that follow their best practices. You'll unlock achievements for doing things like committing to a regular broadcast schedule, growing your community, or having an active chat. If you follow the path achievements lay before you, we absolutely guarantee we'll invite you to the affiliate or partner program. <laughs> Achievements launch next month. We're doubling down on our mission to make sure you can be successful. And as if that wasn't enough, I have one more thing to announce. Once again, we look to you for inspiration. We're happy to announce we'll be bringing to life one of your most requested features. From streamers to viewers and moderators, everyone has been asking for it. I'm excited to introduce subscription Gifting. Yeah. Woo! Okay, there's going to be a lot of gifts given, I can tell. That's fantastic. Like the name literally says, subscription gifting will allow anyone on Twitch to gift subscriptions of any tier to one another. <laughs> Best yet, subscription gifting will be available in time for holiday shopping. More support from more programs like achievements and sub gifting means even more creators will be able to make even more money to tell even more stories. It's those stories that make Twitch special. It's those stories that make people cheer, clip, and chat. And moving forward, we will continue to give you the tools you need to get the recognition and rewards you deserve. So now, to close out our keynote and get TwitchCon 2017 started, please join me in re-welcoming DJ Wheat to the stage.
You're still here. Oh, look, that must be a good thing, actually. Now, thank you all uh, for hanging around. It's almost time to properly kick things off the weekend, get things started, and unleash you onto the TwitchCon show floor. Now, earlier, we talked about Scribbly and Sheriff Eli with their huge communities and their larger-than-life personalities, and surely they've been streaming for years, right? Nope. Talented storytellers like these grew from brand new streamer to successful partner in less than a year. And I think that's incredible. It speaks to what's possible when big talent meets and is supported by this great community. And we want to see that happen even more. We, here, uh, we are here to give you, the streamers, more than ever before, the best opportunities to make something new and wonderful on Twitch. It's the whole reason why we announced all this cool stuff for you today. And ultimately, that potential is what makes Twitch unlike anything else. Because on our stage, the suspense isn't manufactured, the uncertainty isn't planned, and the ending most certainly is not pre-written. The creators, the audience, the communities, the developers, we are all writing this story together. And over the course of this weekend, we will be here listening to you so that by the same time next year, Twitch's community will be even bigger, even stronger, and your stories will have an even larger impact. Thank you all so much for your time, and if I do not see you around, have your best TwitchCon ever. <laughs>